Hey there, welcome to my workshop. I'm Chris Walton, the Being a Craftsman. In today's video, I wanted to share with you five tools that I think are a must have for your spouse, woodworker, or maybe a friend that you can give them for Christmas this year. Now, every tool that I list in this video is actually going to be included in the description below. Whether or not it's on the five that I've listed in this video, it's going to be in the description below. So, my very first one is a power drill. Now for power drills, you're, there are so many options out there. You can get so many different brands, but I personally like Porter Cable, but I'm kind of veering into a different realm now. At work, we use a lot of DeWalt, and I have never had a DeWalt drill fail me yet. And we use them every single day, all the time, heavy usage, and they're just great. So what I'm recommending to you is a DeWalt drill. For $99, you can get a DeWalt drill with a battery, with the case, with the charger. It's a great deal, a great pickup, and something that you need to get for yourself or give to your uh, spouse or your friend. But if, you've, if your friend's not really into power tools and they're really into hand tools, you can still get them a drill. You just get them a hand drill. So you could get them this one, and this one I, I, can, I believe is about 20 bucks. Now they're gonna vary. The one in the description might be a little different than that, but they work just as good. They're just extremely quiet, a lot slower, but if you're into hand tools, this would be the route you would want to go. So while we're talking about hand tools, the next one on my list is something that you may not expect. So a lot of woodworkers like to use hand planes, and it's one of those things that you can easily get, but the problem is you don't use it a whole lot. You know, something about this size is a pr pretty traditional size, but I personally don't use it a lot unless you're really into hand tools. But Here's the thing, I have purchased this three inch block plane just to do some chamfering, some light uh, stuff to make edges nice and square. Just really simple things so you can grab it quickly, do what you need to do and keep moving on. You know, it takes a little bit more time to sand something and you get a lot of dust in the air. And so with this, you don't get any dust. So this is on the list as well and it's about 11 bucks. So you might have heard me just mention dust and that's going to lead me into the next thing that I put on the list list and it is a dust mask. Now this is not your dust mask, so you got two filters hanging off the sides and it's massive and it's not these cheap little paper kinds that you can buy in a store and you can get them for like 50 pieces in a box. They don't really work too well, those are for my daughter when she's in here. But what I put on the list is from RZ Industries, and this thing is awesome. I received this from a giveaway from one of the subscribers that follows me, and I follow them, and I know them quite well. And this thing has been a lifesaver because if I'm in my shop and I'm cutting a lot of boards on the miter saw or the table saw, I'll use a vacuum to, su to suck up the stuff, but there's still a lot of that fine dust in my shop because I don't have a nice elaborate dust collection system. But this thing is great because it works really good to collect all that fine dust. And even if you're doing household chores around the house, this works great too. I've even used it cutting the grass because it doesn't look invasive. All it is is mesh that's washable. It also comes with two filters that you can replace inside. And I'll be honest with you, because of the mesh and because that's washable, this filter is very rarely ever needing to be changed. And then all you got to do is put it on your face use the Velcro backing and attach to it. And as you can tell, it does not really even change the volume of my speech, which is great when you're working around other people. So this is on my list, and this retails for about 40 bucks, and you'll find this down there. It's a very handy thing to do. Heck, buy it for yourself. So another the tool that's on this list is what I um, really like to use a lot for joints that don't really get a lot of stress on them, more like picture frames and shadow boxes and that is the Craig jig I'm sure you've maybe heard the name Craig well this is what the Craig jig is now there's several different versions there's a whole bunch of different uh, accessories you can buy but I really like this one it's $99 and you can put your board in there you clamp it down to your bench so you can put this on the board your bench clamp it down put a board in there smush it in there and then just drill away it's really good now if you've got a place where you can't use this you can always use one of these and this is like around 10 to 15 bucks this is in the list as well even though it's not one of the main ones but this guy here has been a lifesaver and like i said it's really good for making a lot of picture frame joints i personally don't like to use it for a lot of high stress joints i feel like for something like that you want to do a whole different joint altogether but this is a good starting point especially if you're someone that's just getting started into woodworking and needs to create some joints or your friend is getting ready to start into woodworking as well. My last item on this list is kind of something that uh, honestly that you can do without, but I learned that once you get it, 
you kind of think, how did you do without it? And that is this very cool and simple glue bottle. It's actually called Glue Bot. And all you've got to do is fill up your glue in here. And you always have glue coming out of this way because glue comes from the bottom. So when you squeeze it, it's pushing it up the cylinder and you get glue at the tip every single time. It defeats the whole uh, problem that a lot of people have with glue where you've got to turn it upside down or shake it to get the glue at the tip just to get glue out. This thing is always ready. It comes with various different tips. It's a rubber cap so the glue doesn't get nice and hard there. It's always open and then you just replace it back on there. Now when you're using it, you got a little place on the cap to put it and it's out of the way. This thing is really great and it's about $8 online. So there are so many things that I could have put on this list, you know, down to a saw, clamps, everybody loves clamps. And some of those things you can still find in my Amazon store, which is also in the description below. And if you go there, you'll also find my list for this Christmas list that I put together for you. But there's also something else. You may notice that I have been constantly changing my shirt. So the reason for that is to draw the attention to the fact that I have t-shirts. For about 23 bucks, you could pick yourself up one of these cool shirts. And I gotta tell you, uh, these shirts, I've really liked wearing them. I especially love wearing this one. Um, you can get this for yourself, man. It's awesome. Now you go to my Teespring store and you can purchase these. Uh, the first one, the one I showed you first is actually on Amazon, but the other ones, they're gonna be on my Teespring store in the description below. You can get yourself one of these shirts or you can get this one, which is my newer design. It's got the kind of a classic look, but it's also got the logo on the back. So wear these out and about, draw awareness to my workshop. And let me tell you, the stuff that you purchase through Teespring comes back to me and supports this channel, supports me getting new gear and supports just this workshop and staying functional and giving you guys new videos with woodworking projects, my tips, and also some of my techniques coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you found this video from YouTube just doing a random search, thank you for finding me, but I'm also hoping that you will subscribe because I do a lot of woodworking videos, I do a lot of projects, I do a lot of tips, and I even do a lot of techniques, and I hope that something in that would draw your attention to want to come back and watch more videos. But I hope you enjoyed this, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.